The Battle Royale game mode isn't exactly new, but you can thank PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds for its current mainstream spotlight. After PUBG sold tens of millions of copies on Steam during its early access period alone, there was bound to be a wave of games trying to capitalize on the genre's exploding popularity. As of now though, Fortnite Battle Royale is the frontrunner in challenging PUBG's dominance. And while many have dubbed Fortnite's rendition a PUBG clone, there's a lot that make these two drastically different. The first thing that'll jump out to you is the presentation. PUBG has a realistic military-inspired look while Fortnite looks like a bright, colorful cartoon. Oddly enough, both games use Epic's Unreal Engine 4 despite the divergent graphical styles. These games are also born out of disparate foundations. At its core, PUBG shares much of the same DNA as its predecessors. Brendan, player unknown Green himself helped create the original Battle Royale mods for Arma, eventually leading to H1Z1, King of the Kill, which was the premier Battle Royale game just before PUBG busted onto the scene. However, PUBG offers a more accessible, streamlined experience while retaining the military sim framework that taps into your tactical instincts. So how did Fortnite, of all games, become the one to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with PUBG? Its initial vision was a mashup of Gears of War's horde mode and Minecraft's construction mechanics driven by a loot grind to hook players. At first glance, a game that controls fast and loose, almost like an arena shooter, doesn't seem right for Battle Royale. However, Epic was able to adapt Fortnite into its own Battle Royale mode early on and capitalize on this trend. Fortnite also has two things in its favor. It's free to play and available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now PUBG recently hit the Xbox One in an early access phase, but it has a long way to go to match up to how smooth and stable Fortnite runs. Even on PC, you're likely to run higher frame rates and have a lower chance of experiencing game-breaking bugs. When it comes to the overall concept, PUBG's influence on Fortnite is clear. In both games, there's a 60 second warm-up, 100 players are crammed into an air vessel and parachute down on an island for a bloody deathmatch. You're continually forced into smaller zones at random by a lethal circle as the match progresses. You'll never know exactly where the final firefight will take place either. Everyone scrambles for weapons, ammo, and health items across the map's numerous towns and structures. You can either do this alone, as a duo, or with a squad of four, but it all ends the same. The last person or squad standing is declared the winner. But in practice, these games play very differently. Most noticeably, PUBG's rules of engagement are in sharp contrast with Fortnite's. When it comes to PUBG, player movement and the act of firing a gun is very deliberate and calculated. Tactical situations rely on positioning and working the given environment to your advantage. Guns fire with impact and have distinct recoil patterns and damage models. Regardless of your weapon of choice, you have to be precise. PUBG is all about precision. You can't say the same about Fortnite, at least to the same degree. Of course, aiming is key to winning in Fortnite, but the way assault rifles and shotguns work is closer to Unreal Tournament than it is to Arma. Rocket and grenade launchers are also part of Fortnite's arsenal, and traps give players a chance to exercise a different type of cleverness. Because of the nature of its style, Fortnite feels much more chaotic and kinetic. And you can't overlook the importance of building structures if you want to stay competitive. Fortnite retains the crafting from its original mode. A pickaxe that functions as your only melee weapon is also used to destroy structures and vegetation, which turn into wood, brick, or steel. With these elements, you build walls, stairs, or a roof, and you can even alter them to have a window or a door. It's almost a guarantee that firing upon an enemy in an open field will lead to them throwing up a wall out of instinct to protect themselves and heighten their chances of survival. Scaling mountains in seemingly hard-to-reach places is made possible with an ad-lib staircase. Fortnite's building mechanics are remarkably easy to use and crucial to master. On the other hand, part of PUBG's appeal is that the clumsy crafting elements of its predecessors are gone, allowing players to focus on gearing up and executing tactics to survive each firefight. This helps keep a relatively fast pace and lower barrier to entry while maintaining the realistic tactical shooter vibe. You need to strap on an armored vest and helmet to protect yourself, and weapon attachments help get the most out of the deep roster of firearms. Inventory management is relatively streamlined in PUBG, but Fortnite simplifies it to such a degree that you only have to worry about five inventory slots, instead of managing a weight limit. Now both games have large, sprawling maps, but PUBG has vehicles that are super important for reaching advantageous positions without getting swallowed up by the circle of death or getting gunned down by a praying squad. When it comes to close quarter encounters, playing PUBG as if it were Rainbow Six, by scouting enemy movement, peeking for sight lines, you'll improve your odds of survival. In Fortnite, destruction is around every corner. If you know an enemy is on a second floor of a building, you can blow apart the floor beneath them for a surprise. You rack up kills by getting the jump on opponents in either game, but you can't play PUBG like Fortnite 
and approaching Fortnite like PUBG will only get you so far. Now in the late game when you get to a single digit player count, things turn out drastically different. With Fortnite you'll often see enemies creating their own fort-like structures and safe zones, essentially building makeshift houses to leverage their resources and wit. It's not much of a mystery where the last players are when you see them exercising their architectural prowess. But oftentimes, PUBG's final moments boil down to a waiting game. Who gets spotted first, or a risky push with smoke grenades as your last bit of cover. It's about seizing a short window of opportunity when things go from 0 to 100 real quick. So, if you have to choose one over the other, keep in mind that Fortnite is best for those who want to engage in a form of base building within a chaotic shooter that doesn't rely so much on precision and realism. Whereas PUBG has the look and feel of a tactical shooter to drive home the uneasy tension of Battle Royale. The thirst can be quenched with either game, or both, because the thrill of besting 90 plus other players is rewarding in a way unlike other multiplayer shooters. If you want to keep up with everything that's happening with PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds or Fortnite, stick to GameSpot.com. Thanks for watching.